I, I don't know if this is a um, potential funding mechanism, but let me tell you a story about one of my board members. Um, three of my board members are blind. This particular woman was the president of the board at the time, and it was about two years ago, and we were sitting in my office talking, and she started to cry. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, she said, I have lived my entire life, she's probably 55 or so, um, observing and working on better services, better um, acceptance of blind people in, in my community and in the country. And she said, I really fear it's going away. She said, I fear we're living in mean times and that um, ADA is going to be undermined, that other advantages that blind people have, that all people with disabilities have, have earned over the last 50 years are going to, uh, are going to really suffer. And I feel that too. I, every once in a while I, I pick up a paper and I see something else being softened in ADA, uh, I, I, think, I think the fact that this country probably led the world in terms of moving toward equality and dignity for people with disabilities and now has turned a corner and seems to be reneging on a lot of that is something you should find a way to capitalize on. Um, I went to Mexico to Monterey about 10 years ago to visit a school for the blind there. And I asked somebody while I was there, um, do you think that the education of blind children will ever get any better until society acknowledges the equality of people with disabilities in Mexico? And she said, no. Now, we're a long way from that. We have come a long way. And, and somehow in the last, what, six years, five years, little slices have been taken away, sometimes so small that you don't even notice it. But, um, but, but at least blind adults that I know are scared, are really scared right now. And I'll let Bob tell you if people in wheelchairs are scared. <laughs>